got some beautiful June shares here for you and I'm just gonna go through and tell you what's in them so the small shares and large are gonna have lettuce got some beautiful small red potatoes parsley summer squash there's both yellow squash uh, and zucchini you'll get a combination of those some beautiful scallions, some of which are a, a reddish purple. Broccoli. Kirby cucumbers. These are the kind you hear are a pickling cucumber because they're thin skinned, so they're easy to pickle with. They take on flavors very well. And last but not least, our cherries. Uh, you'll probably get sweet cherries, but some of you may get tart pie cherries as well. Large shares will have larger quantities of these items, as well as baby bok choy, asparagus, either red kale or Swiss chard, some beautiful dill. Uh, if we are running low on dill, you receive some thyme. And then on to the fruit only shares, there is a quart of cherries, uh, either sweet or pie some beautiful strawberries we're getting near the end of those and some apricots so I just wanted to show you the difference between pie cherries and sweet cherries sweet cherries tend to be larger um, and a darker red and pie cherries are smaller almost like an orangey red and they have a much thinner skin it's that thin skin um, that helps them to become such a treat you can only get them locally you won't find them in supermarket generally because they don't ship very well with these thin skins so this taste is very unique to local farms and uh, these are used in recipes. Some people even do like to eat them by themselves, but again, they are, uh, they are on the tart side. And uh, I posted a few recipes on Twitter and Facebook this morning. Just had some ideas for refrigerator pickles as pickle season is coming underway. And broccoli salad. There is, if you are fortunate enough to get some pie cherries, a sour cherry chocolate chunk muffin recipe. And um, as far as parsley, you may have had chimichurri before. It's really a tasty like parsley, lemony marinade and flavoring that you can use on, on meat and other things. So I did post a recipe for that. And then in case you're getting some time in your share, there is a velvety scrambled eggs. You could do like a breakfast for dinner or, a, a, you know, any time of day really, I think eggs are good. I think the chickens would agree. Anyway, I do hope you enjoy your share. It's a great time of year. If there's something that you would like us to uh, show or, uh, or talk about in future videos, please let us know. Thank you so much. So I did want to show you a little trick I've been playing around with to pit cherries just in case you don't have a cherry pitter at home and uh, you just grab a cherry, put it on top of the plastic bottle or glass, take your stem, just kind of poke it to get in there with the uh, sharp side of a skewer and then turn it around and just pop that cherry <laughs> right out. Let's try it again. It does help if you hold the cherry, give it a little support. <laughs>